Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Lewis. I'm a professor of medicine from Vanderbilt University. I'm president of the Collaborative Study Group, and I was the overall PI for the ferric citrate in end-stage renal disease patients. And there are over 400,000 patients with end-stage renal disease in the United States. Well-nourished um, dialysis patients all have problems with phosphorus and require the use of phosphorus binders to bind the phosphorus in their food. The vast majority, 70-80% of dialysis patients, are relatively iron deficient and require IV iron and ESAs to support um, their hemoglobin so they're not symptomatically anemic. Ferric citrate is a unique compound because it works in both the bone and mineral domain as well as in the anemia domain. In our study, we randomized 441 subjects to receive either ferric citrate or active control for a 52-week active control study period, followed by a four-week placebo-controlled study period where those subjects who had been on ferric citrate for 52 weeks were re-randomized to either stay on ferric citrate or switch to placebo. Our efficacy of ferric citrate as a phosphate binder was determined by that four week placebo control period. It was highly efficacious phosphate binder. Our p-values are you know less than 0.001. Truly they're like 10 to the minus 23rd, but you know we only go out so many digits when we report. So it was a highly efficacious phosphate binder. We used a gatekeeping strategy so that we could have within our trial testing for the other features of ferric citrate. And when we looked at the 52 week active control period, we learned a lot of important lessons. First, it had comparable phosphorus control to the active control. Also, and very importantly, compared to active control, subjects on ferric citrate increase their iron stores. Unlike IV iron, oral ferric citrate, is, its absorption is regulated tightly by the GI tract. And we had evidence of that because the TSATs plateaued. The use of IV iron in subjects on ferric citrate and the use of ESAs, both were highly statistically significantly less than subjects on active control. And indeed, by the end of the trial, over 60% of the subjects on ferric citrate no longer required any IV iron. Importantly, this was associated with an excellent safety profile. Subjects on ferric citrate had less serious adverse events. They had less serious adverse events that were ID related, perhaps related to the fact that they got less IV iron shot into their lines. They had less SAEs in the cardiovascular arena and less GI SAEs. So the safety profile was really quite remarkable. So ferric citrate is an effective phosphate binder. It increases iron stores decreases IV iron and ESA usage while maintaining hemoglobin. It has an excellent safety profile. And then what's really unusual is here we have a drug that helps our sub patients and subjects in the trial, but patients in the world, but also saves healthcare dollars. And so the average cost savings per dialysis patient is $2,104 just for savings of the IV iron and ESA costs. Um, and we also have savings related to the reduction in hospitalizations. So this is like a win-win. It's a win for the patient, it's a win for our healthcare system, and it's a win for the economics of our healthcare system.